busy morning at work and now we are almost gonna miss our flight because we are getting out of uh, Dodge How's it? on a uh, Saturday afternoon just quickly just like that we landed Cape Town International Airport to have dinner with the kids for one night and fly back tomorrow yeah, that's correct Leanne just asked me if it's the correct Uber if you're in the store, flag me down and let me tell you about the time Leanne and myself got into the correct, uh, the incorrect Uber. <laughs> Do you remember when we got into the incorrect Uber, Lee? Yeah, but that wasn't by default. It was the same last three numbers and the same first three numbers. It was the digits in the middle that were different. Yeah, two digits missing. Um, in Cape Town, we find that it's easier just to get an Uber because the Ubers are so efficient and reasonable that it's uh, much better than hiring a car and driving yourself around. Um, in fact, it comes out cheaper for us most of the time. Um, especially a lot of the places we go to, it's difficult to find parking. And you get to meet interesting people along the way. <laughs> so come along for the ride. Let's see where it takes us. He's normally the one that doesn't like to do things on spur, spur of the moment, so uh, yeah. Um, things are changing, slowly, but they are changing. Overnight bags, living out of a suitcase. My good wife looks pretty cool without her spot uniform on. And we just happen to be walking down the street and we bump into two reprobates. And then the other one's back there, catching up with mom. <laughs> Good to uh, have dinner with you three. Yeah, thank you. My four favorite ladies in the whole world. One, two, three, four. The challenge I have lately is that Lee has to use her glasses to read the menu and she's left them back at the hotel. You have to read the menu for me. I'm nice and romantic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to choose my meal for me. <laughs> 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 well, we're at the Fat Butcher, so steak it is. Chama <laughs> Chama is on a small little town that's called Bucks Contain. You're probably familiar with Bucks Contain. It's all the way up in It's like 20 kilometers outside of Johannesburg. You can see there's also lots of lovely in this piece of meat. It's all these little white parts. You can see it as well. And that's also an indication that the meat has lots of flavor. I would recommend this to eat. And just like that, it's, uh, what is it? 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning. We're heading back to the airport and back to Hillcrest. And back to work. Luxury of a business lounge. Press of milk. The battery is submerged in water. Special life jackets will be provided. But as per civil aviation regulations, children two years or older are required to occupy their own seats for both two. Two tricks uh, that we've learnt over the years is a company called ExecuPark. They meet you at the airport, take your car. So you don't have to look for parking and when you land your car gets delivered to you as you walk out of the airport and it's washed best service ever i think uh, a lot of people are thinking as well how, how can we just fly to uh, cape town for dinner and fly back well uh, last year uh, fly safe air had this thing called the fly more club and on the fly more club they offered you a return ticket for like 800 rand um, but it was for the next year so it's a yearly thing and uh, they issue you with a return ticket for 800 rand every single month but you have to use it in that month and if we didn't use it we would lose it because we didn't have time to go anywhere this this month so far so we had to use the ticket so we thought hey why not <laughs> the time of the year you get me Busy looking for Christmas stock. Oh, it's crazy, eh? Yeah. Uh, planning ahead. <laughs> I'm going to take him out.
The most exciting project is uh, bedding or safe. We're just busy uh, upgrading the software at the moment. A few little tweaks to make it even better for us. Yeah, each cashier has got a, her own pin. So if she wants cigarettes out of this machine, she puts in her pin, gets a cigarette. We can match what the cashier has taken out of this machine versus what she's rung up on the till. So it's exciting for us. Quickly rushing home to meet a truck on the side of the road, yeah? As you can see, I've had to rush home. My biggest challenge in life is Leanne. So she's decided that I need to get on a treadmill and uh, she called in Jared yeah, to come and install these things. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna have to uh, use it. Do you get a lot of husbands complaining that their wives all of a sudden hit a certain age and they decide that their husbands have to start uh, yeah. <laughs> exercising <laughs> instead of beer drinking? Yeah, that's, that's the best way to go these days. <laughs> Crazy times. <laughs> Not every day we get two spa DC employees in our store. Welcome. Thanks, Mike. The retailer's life when uh, every bit of floor space counts is that your office becomes uh, like that. Yeah. Discussing figures with Shane. <laughs> I think this is the most meat I've had to buy in one scoop, even bigger than December, just to hold the price because it's so volatile. I mean, that goes back further that way. Uh, I probably got about it's just short of a million rand invested in Meteor just so that we can hold the price for the next two weeks. Uh, rum steak, all rum steak. <laughs> Bed, you're making bolt on. A lot of bolt on. In retail, you have to have eyes in the back of your head, especially if you operate 24 hours a day. Product development. Is that what you call it? Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to see whether we can get ribs done through our pizza machine. Ribs and chips, what a great family deal that quick, we could. Quick combo. Yeah. And we can get a good deal on ribs at the moment, so why not? It'll be a great uh, addition to our really awesome menu. Hopefully this works, hold thumbs. Looking promising. I think we double baste it and put it through another time, 315 degrees. Second run, double basted. While we're waiting for the oven, the, I think our swap over from the loyalty card, our old loyalty card, that one there, to the app has been quite controversial. It has. There's a big talking point. <laughs> but yeah, for our database, every time we send an SMS, we have to, it costs oh. us about 8,000 Rand every time we send an SMS. So what I need to do then is I work out the lowest price I can get to for the promotion. And then I have to put the cost of the SMS on top of the cost. So we're just paying more for unnecessarily. Yeah. If we don't switch to the app, uh, we, we can't get to the lowest possible so it's not feasible for us in the long run and it's easier keep... for us to, to market directly or yeah. to give giveaways directly to our customers and people don't have to carry an extra card yeah it's looking juicy Time to get home, Lee. It is on this cold, wintry night. You're As we think night. we are on top of our game, we realize that we have to go back to square one and reinvent Shh. ourselves. That's retail for you. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Hope to see you in store soon. Cheers. Bye.